way, way back in like 2013, 2014, I used to respond to my clients' emailed questions about video tools by creating mini screen recorded videos. The steps that I took to create these suckers were way too involved for me to even explain to you now. But back then, that was all that I could do. That is until about 2017 when I was introduced to an amazing screen recorder that made it ridiculously easy for me to send a video response via email. Hey everyone, it's Edie here and welcome to my YouTube channel where I help you create videos for your business using easy to use and easy to learn video creation tools. Today's video is all about my absolute favorite video creation tool, Loom. If you've been following me for any length of time, this should not come as a shock to you as there are plenty of Loom videos to be found here on my channel. However, today is a special video because I've been asked by Loom to create a dedicated review video and I immediately and promptly said yes. So thank you Loom for sponsoring this video. This is the first time that Loom has ever done so and I am beyond happy that they asked. Now before I get down to the nitty gritty on Loom, let me start by giving you an overview of what Loom is and why I think it's such a great product for you to use. First up, what is Loom? For those of you not aware, Loom is an asynchronous video platform and I know, what the hell is asynchronous? It's a fancy word that means your videos are not being watched in real time. Think of it in terms of how you think of email and how email works. You send an email to a recipient, you have no idea when they're gonna be able to read it, but they do read it whenever they can and then they respond accordingly. Well, that's exactly how asynchronous video works. Therefore, Loom allows its users to record videos and share these with clients, colleagues, customers, members of their team, and even vendors who can view these videos whenever they can in a simple and easy way. Today, video content is extremely popular and people are now looking for more personalized content. They're looking for videos that are short, relevant, engaging, and that are directed specifically to them. With Async Video and Loom, you're able to achieve this. With Loom, you can record your screen, your camera, or both. You can also do this using your computer or even your mobile device. Now on to how I use Loom. Loom can record a video on your phone or computer, and then you can share it across multiple platforms like LinkedIn, Slack, Trello, and email. I personally prefer to use Loom's desktop app over their web version. By using the desktop app, I can record in 1080p or above. I can highlight my mouse clicks to help my viewers see where on the screen I want to draw their attention to. I can also record my system audio, making it easy if I want to share my screen that's playing an audio track that I want to be heard. Now, before I get started on the ways that I use Loom, if you're already enjoying this video and you wanna see more like it, hit the like button, share it with others, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the bell to get notified when I post new videos. Now about the ways I use Loom. As I've already mentioned earlier, I use Loom pretty much every day for a number of reasons. And now I wanna share with you the many ways that I incorporate Loom into my business. First off, I love using Loom to connect and communicate with my clients, my colleagues, and my team. I do this by creating my videos, which can range from me responding to an inquiry to sharing a step-by-step -step instructional video recorded on my phone or on my computer, and then shared with my clients or colleagues through a variety of platforms like Gmail, Slack, or Trello. I've used Loom to provide visual support to commenters on my YouTube channel. I've also used it for onboarding new clients and students because it's become super easy to do that. I've also just started using it to capture testimonials. When I have issues with a vendor's product, it's an easy way for me to share with them what problems I've been encountering. And I love that I can also upload non-Loom videos to my Loom video library and then embed those videos onto my website, landing page, or on my email sequences. 
Loom Video has come a long way since I first learned of them way back in 2017, and I've loved witnessing their growth over these years. If you're interested in using an easy to use and easy to learn video creation tool, then you need to look no further than Loom. It's one of the most efficient, multi-purpose video creation platforms that's available today. If you're ready to get started with Loom, check them out by either clicking the link above in the right corner in the description box below this video or on the end screen. Until next time, thanks as always for watching and take care. Thank you.